Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're going to be looking at the Jehovah's Witnesses. And we're just going to be looking at a verse that the Jehovah's Witness use and seeing whether that um, proves their position. And someone will say, well, Jay, you know, don't the Jehovah's Witnesses use the Word of God? They back up everything they say with the Word of God. So let's just go to John 14, 28. John 14, 28 is uh, a scripture that the Jehovah's Witness use. And um, it says, You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back for you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. So the Jehovah's Witness will say, Look, Jesus is not as great as the Father, so he can't be God, like Christians claim. Now, the Jehovah's Witnesses will tell you that they base their views on, on the Word of God, but you need to remember that the Jehovah's Witnesses use false methods of interpretation. What that means is they use often the Watchtower magazine and also they have training manuals that tell them how to interpret scripture. And they don't allow scripture to interpret scripture. So what does that mean? How does that look? Well, let's take John 14:28. Looking on the surface, that would seem to agree with what the witnesses are saying. Let us look at John 28, John chapter 20, verse 8. John uh, chapter 20, verse 28. It says, And Thomas said to him, Lord, My Lord and my God. Now Thomas said this to Jesus. Thomas said this to Jesus. So, so in that light of that context when you look at Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 John chapter 8 verse 58 Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 to 5 so we'll say it again John chapter 8 verse 58 Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 and 5 um, will back up also what I'm saying but uh, in John chapter 20 28 we've seen um, Thomas said, uh, my Lord and my God, to Jesus. So from the witness point of view, the text in John 14, 28 is saying that Jesus isn't God. But actually, if you take John chapter 20, verse 28, Jesus is God. So when it says, and Jesus, uh, the Father is greater than I, it obviously doesn't mean in essence of 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 God because God Jesus is God as well as the Father what it means in the economy in in the plan of salvation that there is the Father who um, planned salvation the Son who came down to accomplish salvation the Holy Spirit who opened our hearts to salvation so it's in reference to the plan the economy as it is as it's known by theologians of salvation it's not in regard to essence because Jesus is God as Doubting Thomas said to Jesus and Jesus didn't say I'm not God don't call me God he accepted the adoration okay hope that's a blessing and I hope that's a help to you thank you for listening and take care